Hey everybody. Let's say you just upgraded to Windows 7 and you used to use the Vista Moon Maker all the time. And of course, the Vista Moon Maker is a pretty decent little tool. It's probably the best version of Moon Maker they've ever released. It's packed full of features, easy to modify, and of course, you know, it's simple to use. It's built more as building on the older versions of Moon Maker that were included in XP. But of course, if you haven't already noticed, well, by the time you get into Windows 7, you go into your programs that come installed Windows 7, you'll notice that there's no such thing as Windows Moon Maker. Of course, they want you to download and install the live Moon Maker. This is the reason why they didn't include Windows Moon Maker in Windows 7. But if you download and install Windows Live Moon Maker, you'll notice that it's an absolute piece of garbage. I don't like it at all. I've had so many problems with it. I mean, in some ways it's somewhat easy to use, but every time you add in a video, it has to go through and prepare the video, which can take quite a while, not to mention when it does it, it sets the processor from your processor as below normal priority, so it takes even longer. I mean, it's really irritating when every time you go to create a video, you got to drop, you won't know, let you drop the videos into Live Movie Maker, they have to go through the long process of preparing and of course that can take a really long time if you are using videos that are like several hours long just a video clips themselves. It can take a good bit of time, but it's a big waste of time. And a lot of cameras nowadays like the DXG567V and the DXG579V and many other camcorders out there create video in the MOV H.264 format and of course one of those Moon Maker, the Vista version will not recognize those files without a special codec being installed so this is kind of this is like a two-fold video I'm going to show you how to install Windows Vista Moon Maker into Windows 7 and how to set up your codecs and everything both the Windows Moon Maker 6 and the Codex are already installed on this computer, but I'm going to give you just a general idea of the steps you have to do, go through to install everything. First, you're going to install the Windows Movie Maker 6 that comes with Windows Vista. You'll need to have the files, the program files, from Vista to do so. If you're lucky, you can get them off the internet. Usually, you can get the 32 bit versions off the internet, but if you're on a 64 bit Windows 7, I recommend that you do use a 64 bit. Windows Movie Maker, but the 32 bit version will work just fine. So I'll go ahead and pull up my files that I have, which of course these files for the Windows Vista Movie Maker are located in the Program Files folder on a Vista installation. And here I have both the 32 bit files and these 64-bit files. So more or less what you have to do is copy all these files. Copy every single one of the files and you'll need to create yourself a folder in the program files. And I called it Movie Maker Vista Edition. You can just call it Movie Maker, it don't really matter. And of course you would just drop the files in here. The next thing you'll need to do is go into your hard drive, the Windows folder, the System32 folder, and locate the Reg Server32 file. And it is a little file that is located, let's see. Right here. It's this little application. You'll need to make a copy of this and then paste it to your desktop or somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I have so many shortcuts on here, but anyways, you'll you'll paste it to your desktop and name it something like Register DLL Files. And then you'll go back to your program files and more or less you'll highlight all the DOL files. Highlight them all. I'm not going to actually do all of them here but just more or less you highlight them, drag them and drop them onto the shortcut on your desktop and you'll get some 
success messages and you'll get some error messages. Click OK to everyone. And then you'll be able to start Movie Maker. On the first start, it'll look like, let's see, it'll look like this with a storyboard. Of course, I like the timeline because you get more advanced features. And of course, then it's closed out. Then we go on to the next step. Install a codec pack. And personally, I like K-Lite codec pack. So I'll go ahead and pull that up. Show what the installer looks like. It's free on the internet. And you, can, and you can get it from a site called Codec Guide. I'm going to my program installers here. And it is located right here. If you're on a 64-bit system, you'll need to install both the full pack of like whatever the latest version is. I currently have 800 full on this machine. And the latest version of the 64-bit is 550. Install both of these. And this one, you want to select lots of stuff in the installer. And just go through the installer with this one. It'll install the needed codecs for 64-bit. And now just to demonstrate, after you do that, open the Windows Movie Maker 6, and these files here, I'll go ahead and open the properties. See if we can get the types it won't necessarily say. But these are MOV files. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull up a very recent one then. Here's one of the clips from my recent Facebook video, my Facebook rant video. Drag and drop it, and it recognizes it right away. Drag and drop it here, and of course you can do whatever you need to do with the file. Let's say split it, you can just edit, do whatever you need to do with MOV files. No trouble with converting. You just simply drop it in and go. So anyways, that's how you can install the Windows Movie Maker 6 and the Windows 7, the Vista version, and install the needed codecs to edit with MOV files. So anyways, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask.